Welcome back. We're SuicideFantasyFootball.com talking to you about the divisional playoff round and what wide receivers you want to pick if you're still involved and you're a fantasy diehard like we are. That's right. So, Jim, number one receiver, you got Marcus Coles. I got Marcus Coles. Tell Coulson. us why. Well, I think that the, the, well, that the Saints are not going to run the ball. They're throwing the ball. Okay. I think that Colson has established himself as Breeze's number one target again over the past couple weeks. He lost it after last year. This year he got hurt. He wasn't really playing. But over the past couple weeks he's shown he's absolutely Drew Breeze's number one target. Okay. And now him over Jordy Nelson. Just for that, you think it could be... Donald Driver, it could be James Jones, it could be Jermichael Finley. That's your, both, your thought. Both New Orleans and Green Bay have lots of options. That's so what I was So it's not like say. there's one thing. But I think that that Colston is clear. Colston is better than Devery Henderson, Lance Moore, and Robert Meacham. I don't know that Jordy Nelson is that much better than James Jones or Donald Driver in a playoff game. You'll never know. Mm, I don't you have know. to see it, but Donald Driver is the old reliable, and I think that you know he's he's been reestablishing himself in the offense. He has. Week off, I think they're going to go to him a little bit. Listen, more. it's one and two, so it's hard to call, but I'm flip-flopping sure. him. I'm putting Jordy Nelson as the number one. If I'm not putting my boy Wes Welker as the number one, Jim. I'm seeing Wes Welker going for big points this week. Over 150 yards receiving and a touchdown from He's Wes probably going to go... 12 catches for 120 yards. The problem is, does he get in the end zone? That is true. Because in, in fantasy, that's the number right there. But everybody, you don't know if they're going to get in the end zone. To me, when I'm picking my number one dude, I want to know he's going to put up big points. And yeah, 10 catches, I want to know he's getting in the end zone. If he's the number one guy, I want to know he's getting in. Listen, and you're pretty sure Colson's getting in. And you're pretty sure... He didn't get in last week. In. They put up big points. And Marcus Colston went for seven for 120 and no touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah, so and Meacham got two touchdowns. So I, I, I'm I'm just saying I'm putting Jordy a little bit above. I go I go Jordy Nelson one double A, Wes Welker one A, Marcus Colston A. Yeah, they're all great. But yep. now next you've got Andre Johnson. No, correct? next I had Hakeem next. Oh, next you have Hakeem, Hakeem next. next. Got, got it. Yeah, got it. Going in it. there now. I don't know. If it's going to work out that way, I think Victor Cruz is probably going to outscore both Hakeem Nix and Mario Manningham this week because they didn't do it last week. But gun to my head, I'm picking Hakeem Nix. Then Andre Johnson? Then Andre Johnson. Okay. And Andre Johnson, I think, could be the, the Andre Johnson's guy. probably the number one wide receiver on the list, but he's got Tyler Yates throwing the ball to him. So you yep. can't really, you know, Tyler Yates didn't do anything to really show that he's no. a playoff quarterback. But the great thing is with Andre Johnson, you almost don't need to. Yeah. If if Andre Johnson's close to 100%, yeah. just put the ball up there. Throw the He'll ball further it. than any D-backs are. Andre Johnson's going to outrun everybody and be in the yep. end zone. Yep. So I really like Andre Johnson this week. Victor Cruz I like a lot. Yep. I, I, I'm with you. I could see Victor Cruz putting up bigger numbers than Akeem Nix. At the same time, I'd pick Akeem Nix over Victor yep. Cruz because that's taking a shot. Yep. I don't Branch. like James Jones. You got I, Branch coming back. He's a, he's a he is Brady's boy. You know he what is. I mean? It's like it's like the the ex girlfriend that you keep swinging around for a booty call once a year. That's that's the way Stay Deion Branch is. Well, I mean, I when, we, when we were younger, really when we were kids, not married. Uh, you know, he's the old reliable. When when times get tough and the game's closed, Tom Brady's looking for Deion Branch. They want to win a Super Bowl. He's a Super Bowl MVP. Yep. I yep. hear you there. Uh, and then last, you got James Jones, who I wouldn't even. I put Jacoby Jones on the list. I like James, James Jones. Jones a little bit, but my sleeper, who I think could wind up being the most productive wide receiver on the board, Eric Decker, Torrey Smith, Torrey Smith. Ah! I think Torrey Smith might get a eighty-five yard bomb for a touchdown. I and wind see... up with five catches for one hundred and sixty yards and an eighty-yard bomb. I could see Torrey if you're, Smith. If you're in a distance league for touchdowns. He goes up a couple points. I can see Tory Smith lives. being the Demarius Thomas of this week. Yeah. You don't even have him listed. Demarius Thomas is on I mean, there. you got him on there, but you no, hate him. I don't hate him, but he, listen, Demarius Thomas is a beast, but I just don't think that they're going to do a whole lot this week. I love Demarius and Thomas. And Eric Decker. Isn't it funny that Eric Decker got hurt? James Harrison hit him low after all the games that everybody's been criticizing Harrison for, for hitting head and taking out, you know, kill shots, and he just cracked him in the knee and knocked him out, too. Yeah. Yep. Horrible. 
What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, that's the wide receiver wrap-up. Check us out, suicidefantasyfootball.com, revolutionizing the way people play fantasy sports. And also check out Blog Talk Radio, Monday nights, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, Fantasy Football Overload. Subscribe to our videos. We'll keep you amused through the offseason and uh, give you some good baseball info, keep you ready for the NFL draft, and just make you laugh with dick jokes.